Kamaru Usman. Man, I, I, I miss this guy. I feel like right now in June 2022, it feels like it's been a while since he's been in a fight. Because last year he was so active. Anyway, um, yeah, when it comes to one of the most entertaining and strongest champions out there in MMA, Kamaru Usman's that guy. Like, he looked phenomenal. 2021? In 2020 and 2019, people probably thought, eh, this guy's a bit boring, other than his first fight with Colby. But anyway, in this fight, uh, yeah, in this division, Kamaru Usman can deal with pretty much anybody. He can neutralize strikers. I guess he can struggle a bit with fires like Gilbert, but that's a good thing, actually, to be honest. But at the end of the day, Kamaru Usman has really good health stats, pretty good striking striking stats, and his wrestling just completely obliterates people. So... Yeah, in this fight, I try to focus more on striking, and then when I see an opportunity, I take I do a takedown, right? That's what you would do, because he is primarily a grappler. But yeah, don't feel don't feel shy. Like if your opponent's not good at striking, take him out with Kamaru Usman. The man, you know, hand hand fought George Masvidal and knocked him out. Who and George hasn't been knocked out in a long time. If there's uh, any other showcases you want me to do, please let me know in the comment section below. Not that anyone even watches these videos. But uh, yeah, leave a like and subscribe if you enjoy this video. Goodbye. Or rather, enjoy the video. And then, imagine I'm saying goodbye to you. Pettis. I'm not going to get that many points. I'm not going to get that many points. You ready? Going up against Anthony Pettis at welterweight, so... Yeah. What is it? Is this body start? I think it's body, yeah, it's body stats. Super weird, he fought Wonderboy, beat Wonderboy with a crazy knockout. Where, which, which everyone was like, what? How did he do that? But it's because he's, you know, people forget Pettis is an amazing kickboxer himself. And he figured out a rhythm to Wonderboy. Yeah, it's pretty spectacular. Um, anyway. After that... Nate Diaz beat him. I haven't watched that fight in a long time, but Nate, that was a really good victory for Nate. And then, uh, I think I think Pettis just, what did he do after that? More than that. But with Kamaru Usman, 2019 March, that's when he fought Woodley for the belt. That's pretty much the first time I watched Kamaru Usman. I'm not even gonna lie. But to be honest, people really didn't like Kamaru Usman's style. Grappled a lot. Oh, that was a nice drop. Grappled a lot, but over the span of how many years? Since the end of 2019, he's really impressed people. Like, you know what? Yeah, he had that boring fight with Masvidal the first, but his fight with Colby was pretty good. People were like, oh, okay, good. let's t let's take our insults back. This guy's actually good. And it's so crazy, like seeing this Kamaru from social media profile just go from like 300,000 followers to like 2 million now. It's like, that's what will happen if you if you put out amazing fights. Like his output was pretty insane, and it's it's rare for a champion to defend their belt three times in a year unless you're like destroying your opponents. Like Devason, yeah, Devason did that. So yeah, he was he was only champion for b -b 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 two fights in 2020 and then 2021 he fought Brandon Marino and lost which was like oh damn say hello to Mar Brandon Marino the first Mexican born UFC champion I sure. but anyway let's go back to this fight some bad things I'm doing is I don't need to be in the pocket too much come on Rus but at the same time, you do not want to like Anthony Pettis out of kickboxing. I'm throwing him some silly feints. Oh, that was a nice straight lead up. Yeah, see, this guy, even though I'm, I'm going to beat him, he's a good fighter. He understands how the block mechanic works. He's pressuring me. And he can actually deny my takedowns, and I'm. What am I? Yeah, other than that takedown, which was very well turned. anywhere, bro. Something I naturally just do is just uh, sway, and pivot, and I'm like, oh wow, this is an easy opening because I know what you're gonna do. You're going for a kick. Or you're going for something. Or you're going for a straight. Interesting, right? 
Yes, we did an interesting animation there, I think. It's pretty realistic. Kamaru Usman does pretty much knock people out with his jab. It's like, imagine GSP without the kickboxing or the Jiu Jitsu. But imagine if GSP had just had better, uh, just a lot of power in his hands. Some good one two hook, uppercut, and a body front kick, and some leg kicks. With high level wrestling, that's what. <laughs> oh my god, Kamaru Usman is. Sorry about that sniff. That must have hurt your ears if you have headphones on. Kamara's confidence to be everywhere. Don't worry. Oh, See what I mean? Anthony Pettis does not have the health stats to hang with me. Like, I'm way too powerful. You can almost kind of use Kamaru like Francis Ngannou, just time your shots. And wherever you hit the opponent, whether it's the body or the head, you're going to do a lot of damage. Good guy. Smart guy. He's fighting back. He's trying to get a cool finish on me, but... Ah, uh, The lead roundhouse is something... Some In some matches, I just absorb those shots. I'm like, why am I not blocking? Can I not see that this is going to destroy my head? You can take a lot of leg kick damage in this game and survive. Because this game's not very... It's not really that realistic. They remove important things like clinch positions. Which would really help out someone like Kamaru Usman, but... Whatever, it's, it's the game. When it comes to the wrestling aspect, you do have a few new positions like Neon Belly, Neon Belly, and um, what was it? Yeah, the postured up position in backside. I don't think that was in UFC. Yeah, it wasn't really in UFC 3. That's the only one I played. But to be honest, you know what, like, I really shouldn't care too much about people watching my content. I should just upload it, and as long as it's something I'm happy with, just move on. Honestly. Now that, that was just a smart technique. That is perfect how you use feints. I denied that, because it's a slower transition. <laughs> you just, just hear me button Easy, easy fight. What the hell is this? Rage quit? Yep, of course he did. It is what it is. I mean, not many people can deal with Kamaru. Alright, coming up next, it is a welterweight showdown between the Nigerian nightmare Kamaru Usman and Colby Covington. Keep the fight standing. I can basically destroy him. Striking wrestling. Colby's got a lot of cardio. You ready? If you're wondering why there's two sets of my voice, it's because one is live recording, the other one's after. It's, it's, it's after. Uh, voice recording, I guess. Or after, after, I don't know what you call it. It's post-fight commentary. That's what, that's what it's called. That was a smart move by me. Kamaru's actually a little, sorry, Colby's a little bit faster. Obviously he has less power, but it's honestly a good thing to neutralize. Uh, oh no, I ducked in. Oh. I I don't know why I taunted taunted. It's kind of <coughs> it's pretty childish for me to do that. That was a good block by him. Hmm? So pay attention to his block. 
uh, when you're wrestling, the block, where your opponent's blocking is actually very important. If you get your opponent blocking high, you're gonna have GA. So when you go for a takedown, it's gonna be way easier. And I'm Kamara Roosman. If you have yeah. takedown defense, yeah. nice combination. Because I'm Kamara. And look how creative you get to be with this combination. With these combinations. Colby did get tired. I stayed down. Very small. <laughs> Colby threw four shots. Didn't even get me rocked. I threw two. He's rocked. Good power. Good power takedown. This guy is desperate, but look at his stamina. I'm just gonna take my time. Gotta be quicker. Went full guard, then I went for a half guard sweep, which is smart. Another very important part of Kamaru Usman's game, the clinch. God, what is wrong with me? Why am I throwing body runners kicks? He got it, he got that, the low second. Corby does have high takedown stats. At least I denied that. You can tell I've been practicing my denials. Get up. These type of transitions and scrambles on the ground. High level grappling can really be in a pain. Right, so he's landed some good shots tonight. Wrestlers who can strike very well in this game are they're pretty fun to use. But pure wrestlers like Ben Askren, uh, it's it's not easy to use them. You need to know what you're doing. I should have got that. My top control is high enough. I have bad denial from this position back then. Hopefully, I improved by the next game. Let's see. He's going for another armbar. Some guy screaming outside. Nice. I feel like I haven't seen Kamaru Usman do ground and pound in quite a while. <laughs> that sounds like he just got a pop. Did he just? <coughs> That's how entertaining Kamaru has been. He's literally a wrestler who's comfortable striking with pretty much anybody. Gilbert, guy who has pretty good striking. George Masvidal, pretty much a, a veteran. He's been in the lightweight and welterweight division. He's mainly a lightweight when he was younger. But, but again, he's a guy he that submitted people a few times. I like and also actually grappling. knocked out quite a few people in his career. The game tricks you, because Kamaru has Muay Thai combinations, but no, trust me, they're talking about the leg kicks. 
not need body run or something like that. You could throw those combinations, they're good. A good way to end the run. Switched off is probably somewhat good. Yeah, in real life, Kamaru switches stance pretty well. I was impressed with that in his performance with Colby. Should give Kamaru like really high submission defense, like 93, 94, but low submission stats because he's never good for submissions. This is not his thing. Um, I kind of miss fighters like GSP. GSP wouldn't really knock people. Beautiful. Oh my god. Good fight you get, though. You get one reward, rewarded for paying attention when you play Kamaru Usman. That's why I like using him so much. Good fight. Leg catch. Body uppercuts. George, he finished Gilbert, and he had a great fight with Colby, so, yeah, Kamaru was going to be amazing last year. It's Brian Ortega and Kamaru, sorry, it's, um, it's, uh, Kamaru Usman and Volkanovski that are up for, like, performance, some of the best fighters ever. Alright, this is a fight where I don't talk over myself, finally. Oops, sorry about that. So, in this fight, Gilbert's got pretty good pretty good hands, you know, he can definitely mess you up. In real life, he did. He, he made Kamaru wobble. He wobbled Kamaru's chin. That's the same. But then, you know, Kamaru came back, can't, he's, I think he switched stances and just messed up Gilbert Burns. Also, I apologize. There's some sort of weird sound lag. It's super weird, but yeah. Still try, try to enjoy the fight if you can, possibly. So me and him are kind of having a war in the pocket. But what you gotta do is, tomorrow is use your reach. Like that. Stand still. Boom. One, two. Walk the body. Gilbert's got some nice kicks as well, because he comes from a karate background, but obviously his jiu-jitsu, his wrestling's good, but his jiu-jitsu is what's really terrifying. And that's what can make that's what can make him a really good counter to Kamaru Usman. Him and Colby are both really good, like, opponents, if you want to pick, if you don't want to mirror match, uh, Gilbert, Colby, maybe even Hamza Chimaev, but good luck taking Col uh, Kamaru down, have to be quite skilled. Oh nice, this guy's adapting, which is a good thing, he's throwing 1-2 one, and then 1-3, one, one, sorry 1-4 actually it's called, 4 meaning the hook and 1-1 one, one meaning a jab. I could have switched my stances here but I didn't for some reason. Yeah. Then I'm kind of just throwing Block breaking combos, throwing one two. I'm a bit too close to him, so I need to just back up. Get my block back. He's 
It's funny how I didn't even go for a takedown here. Oh, that was a nice head movement. And I slipped, went on the inside and threw an uppercut. Another rage quit. I'm not surprised. Well, we're both grapplers, so let's strike, right? <coughs> Sometimes when the game gets too technical, it's just not fun to play. But, obviously... You just have to make smart decisions and you'll win. That's an interesting point I said there. If the game gets too technical, it's not too fun to play. Yeah, I guess. Oh, I stuck him down. Um, yeah, I'm happy this fight's in ranked. This fight it does. It didn't happen too long ago. Colby and Kamaru both obviously got a buff, but. They got buffed around November 2021, so. Hmm. George obviously got downgraded, which sucks, but it's life. He's still a high level fighter. Maybe even elite, an elite level striker, to be honest. But I think it's it's rare for an MMA fighter to be elite at anything. <coughs> Steven Thompson, elite level striker. He's so damn good that his weakness is grappling. If you can wrestle him and control him really, really well, you're basically gonna win the fight, you know. Kamaru Usman, Colby, I classify them both as elite level grapplers. Even though I, I don't really know if we've ever seen Kamaru Usman's bottom game, but his top game's obviously like elite. No one's gonna beat him there. Colby's very, very close, and that's about it. So yeah, there's different types of uh, judging it, and I think the game usually oh, does a. F I picked the wrong last. The game usually does a. Oh yeah, that was too stupid of me. Does a momentum transition, I think. I only noticed that momentum transition recently, but that's because I grappled in the game. Should press R two and up like three seconds ago. Oh, that was good. Press R2 and up. Thank God I did. <laughs> I'd hate to have Kobe on top of me. It would, it would suck. Cause he's got really good pressure. He got I it. it. Oh my God. This game don't care, bro. This game does not care. It's all the I game. Of that. Okay, I guess my controller is literally not working. Ah, oh. that's beautiful. But he's got low stamina, so that's what I'm taking advantage of. Oh, I always do this with my showcases. I always try and get a sub. <laughs> Sorry about the wind. Even if the fighter isn't um, a submission specialist, I, d I don't care, bro. I'll, I'll always try and do it. Yeah, I couldn't do it right now. It got me control time, so in that sense it's worth it, but never guess out against a Colby. This guy's crazy, he's just throwing stuff. Yeah, Colby, uh, Boosman's got very good uh, body push kicks, so use that. He can fight wild and crazy if he wants, but. I'm just gonna fight fundamentally. Yeah, good advice. Use a deep kick if possible. I tell myself it's not good to throw that lead body runhouse kick. Kamaru is just not designed to throw it. That was a good response. Oh, what are you doing, bro?
Ooh. That was good reaction time. Oh, got me got. Uh oh. I could have gone for a takedown quite a few times if you look at the GA bar. Ugh. Got me. Can't be mad about that. Smart. Is the fight over? Oh, I denied that. Wow, good job. I didn't mean to do that. Hmm. You can, if you're my opponent, you can kind of see that what I'm doing is I'm working. I'm kind of hoping to just land that straight punch and then the hook, lead hook. Give you that, you're tough. <laughs> nice round. It's crazy, he survived that. Oh, really, the highlight is him taking me down. <laughs> It's like the game wants me to be salty. Come on, I knocked him down like three times. Oh. Beautiful. Making Kamaru look like a professional boxer, even though <laughs> it's his reach. Right. Speed, power, that makes him terrifying. This division. Good fight. On top of his durability and obviously high level wrestling stats. Great knock up on high level elite level wrestlers. You can't beat that. It's just weird how a man with so much stamina can have a lot of power and punch speed. It's a bit weird. He would get five stars if he submitted people and finished them all the time on the ground, but he doesn't. He's actually quite. He's just well rounded. His striking isn't amazing, but the way he uh, utilizes striking by using body kicks, the one twos. It's pretty good Ladies timing on that. The referee Eve Levine so. called a stop to this contest at 17 seconds of the third yeah, round. Not bad. Declaring the winner by.